Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my beautiful night's channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from Bohem Style. In case you're interested in this box, I will leave a link for it down there below in the description bar. So let's see what we have in this month's box. And it seems like the past three, four boxes I've opened have nodded on me, so I got my knife there. Alright, so here is a piece of paper that has a link to a video tutorial with instructions showing you how to make both of the pieces that come in this box. And let's see what we have. So we have two lobster claw clasps in like my favorite color to work with, antique brass. And we have, oh, cute charms, look at those. Looks like four leaf clovers. They're double sided. Those are really cute. And then we have some beautiful, I think these might be five millimeter. They look bigger than four. Check drugs. Not really sure what this color is called because I have seen so many businesses call it by different names, but it's like in the travertine Picasso group. And then we have. Some little bird charms. These are metal, which I usually see these in gemstones. But those are metal. And for some reason, I'm not opening the bags. So I'll go back to this one and open it. And my cat is being super playful today. I don't know what's gotten into him. Sometimes he acts like this when I need to feed him, but he already has food. So that's those. I have these in my stash, and I've noticed that whenever I get them from another place or, or sell or whatever, they look slightly different from the ones I already have. Like every time I get them, they're slightly different. I've gotten them in threes and sixes, and the pattern on them is always a little different. Okay, and then these birds here, I think they are metal. Yeah, those are metal. And these are also check trucks, but these look turquoise. This is more of a green turquoise. Oh my gosh, there is a bunch of turquoise in here. Yeah, this one's very green pretty. Maybe these are four millimeters. I just know that sometimes when I go to make a piece and it's not working out, it's because my bead could be off. For example, I did a flower ring not too long ago. It was my last tutorial and um, I used 10 millimeter check fire polish beads. Well, I went to go measure the bead because the I got the bead from the check beads exclusive box subscription and I wanted to make sure that it was 10 millimeter, but it was actually 9.5 millimeter. And then I went and got one out of my stash and it was also 9.5. So it was slightly off and I measured that of course with a digital caliper. But I, I do know, I've experienced that sometimes that little measurement right there can totally throw off a design but it all depends on the design sometimes you know the design it doesn't matter if it's a slightly different and red Picasso I will never get tired of that bead that is so gorgeous And then these here. And by the way, these are messy. See that color on there? They will stain your bead mats. Picasso beads do that. They are dirty beads. But they are pretty. Look at that. Very pretty. Oh my gosh, there's so many good beads in here. Here are tile ones. And turquoise again. Oh, and I'll show you 
see how green these look these ones here the drugs very pretty these are pricey beads more red Picasso absolutely gorgeous and there is a lot of these in here okay and then we have some jump rings looks like six oval jump rings we have two split rings Bead stringing wire in gold. Crimp beads. And spacer beads. Some cute flower ones. Those are really thick, I have to say. Look at how thick that is. And where is the hole? Oh no! My hole is clogged in that bead, so that will probably mess up my design. So I might have to do something to go around that. So there you can see the hole on that one. So, um,. I'll see how that goes. I might have to change the design a little bit. And by the way, I always have to mention this. I make... Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh, what is this going to be? At the beginning and end of this video, I always have what the completed project looks like. Because after I film this, either tonight or the next day or a day from now, I will make the design and then when I and I take pictures of it and then when I go to edit the video, I put the picture of the finished project at the end and beginning. Even though I do that, you guys still comment below this video and say that you can't sit, wait to see what I'm going to make with these beads. But I have it at the beginning and end. The finished projects. Those are beautiful. Look at that. That's a really pretty dragonfly. Or damselfly. What is the difference between a dragon and a damselfly? I don't know. They look similar to me. I'll have to Google that. Right, so that is everything, and I made a big mess. I'm going to lay all this stuff out so you can see everything. Here is everything that I'm getting in this month's Bohem Style monthly subscription box, and I'm very happy with all of these beads. They are gorgeous. Picasso is my most favorite finish, and turquoise is my most favorite color, so I'm very excited to work with this project and see what it's going to look like. And um, I am worried, though, that I have a clogged hole here. I might have to alter design a little bit to make it work because of that, but um, I will see what I could do. Maybe I have something in my stash, or maybe I'll, I'll get around it some other way. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, I will have a link for this box down there below in the description bar. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos, and check me out on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.